Hey everyone, I am talking about almond milk today. I have five different kinds of almond milk and I wanted to compare cost, taste, and nutrients of all the different kinds of almond milk available. We love to drink almond milk in my family, but when it comes to giving some to my daughter, it made me want to take a little bit of a closer look at what actually was in the almond milk that we were drinking. So I have um, two different kinds of homemade almond milk and three different kinds of store-bought almond milk to compare. If you are interested in seeing how almond milk stacks up, um, just keep watching. The first almond milk I want to review is one that is probably easiest to find and it is um, by the Silk brand. This is a half gallon I found in my refrigerated section at the grocery store. And um, in this container there's eight cups. The, the carton was $3.49, which makes it 44 cents a cup, which is a really good value for almond milk. And some things I like about this almond milk are that, um, like I said, it's easy to find. Um, it comes in an unsweetened version, which is the kind that I bought. Um, it's non-GMO, which is great. And there's no carrageenan in the ingredients, which I also really like. Um, this is fortified. That means that they add vitamins to it after they process the almonds. Um, so that gives it quite a few um, vitamins and minerals in here, 45% um, of your daily value of calcium, which is a lot, but um, I'm not sure where they derive the, the um, vitamins and minerals from, and I think that's kind of important. So I'm going to put up a list of the ingredients for you. As you can see, that's quite a few ingredients. Um, so that's something that, you know, I try to eat things that don't have a ton of ingredients and that's quite a bit, um, even if they are good ingredients. Um, so this is uh, 30 calories a cup, 2.5 grams of fat, one gram of protein, and um, there's no sugar or anything in it, which is great. So. That is silk almond milk. The next almond milk I'm reviewing is one from Calafia Farms, and this is unsweetened as well. And this, again, is non-GMO, which is great. Um, it's in the BPA-free container. It's also gluten-free, um, and that's just what's listed on the back. Um, this was $4.69, which averages to about 78 cents a cup, which is a lot more than that silk almond milk. Um, it is 48 fluid ounces, which is six cups, and um, it's 40 calories a cup, 3.5 grams of fat, one gram of protein, and uh, again, 45% of your daily value of calcium because this is also fortified. So this has almost the same ingredients actually as the silk, but it's separated into two sections, and I will put that up for you so you can see. And as you can see in the ingredients, they have it split off so that the vitamins and minerals that they added into it um, are only 2% or less, and I think that they're trying to tell you that it's mostly water and almonds, which is what you're looking for. Um, there's no carrageenan in this as well, which I think is great, and we'll see how it tastes. The last store-bought option that I'm going to be reviewing is Pacific Organic Almond Milk. So this is the only organic one that I was able to find, um, and it is unsweetened as well. And this is a much smaller container at 32 ounces, which is four cups. And I like that it's only four cups because we don't go through a lot of almond milk and um, this can actually be kept on the shelf until you're ready to use it. And then when you are ready to use it, four cups isn't that much to go through in seven to 10 days. Per cup, there's 35 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, one gram of protein, and 2% of your daily value of calcium, which is a lot lower than the others, but that's because this is not fortified. 
Um, there are far fewer ingredients in this one, which I really like, but this does contain carrageenan, which um, is a known carcinogen, so that's something that um, is not my favorite about this. The last almond milk I'll be reviewing is this homemade almond milk, and I actually was going to make just one, but I decided to make two, and I will show you how I made them in this video now. To make the almond milk, I put two cups of raw almonds and two fresh dates in a measuring cup and covered them with water to let them soak overnight. And then I split the almonds up into two batches and strained them through and put half of the almonds into boiling water for just a minute or two in order to loosen the skin. So I strained them out of the water and I began to take the skins off by just pushing the almonds through two fingers and um, I put the little skins into that strainer and put the blanched almonds into the measuring cup with the date. And then I just did half of them. So I ended up with a cup of blanched almonds and a cup of the soaked almonds that were not blanched. And I just kept those in the little bowl right there. So for the first uh, blanched almond milk, I took the almonds with three cups of water, a pinch of sea salt, and the date, blended them up, and strained them through the nut milk bag. So that is the first batch with the skins removed. And I just repeated the same process for the almond milk with the skins. So once that strained through the nut milk bag, I put the other almonds in with three cups of water and a pinch of sea salt and the date, strained that one through the nut milk bag, and I made sure to give it a really good squeeze. So when you're using the nut milk bag, it's gonna get all these solid pieces, but you just wanna help push the liquid through by squeezing it really well. And I think putting the strainer under is um, helpful too, so you don't lose grasp of the bag. And then you're gonna end up with a bunch of dry almond meal on top, which you can save and use for other recipes, and about three cups of liquid. The reason I made two different kinds of almond milk is because as I was removing the shells off of the first batch, I realized that it was so time consuming that it was pretty much unlikely that I would be willing to do that on a daily or weekly basis. So I just wanted to see if there was a big taste difference in making fresh almond milk with the skins on or using the blanched almonds. Here is the bag of almonds that I use to make the homemade almond milk. And it's just um, Costco Kirkland Signature brand almonds. It's a three pound bag. And we go through a lot of almonds here, so these are um, good value for your money. There's nine cups of almonds in here and the bag was $19.38. Um, I usually keep them in the freezer so they stay um, for a long time. And uh, using these almonds, I use about a cup, um, one cup almonds to three cups water. And I also included a date. And I know that's technically sweetening it, but I think that when you don't use anything um, in the almond milk, it can be a little bit bitter. So I use one date or three cups of water and one cup almonds, as well as a pinch of sea salt. And I will link the ingredients in the description box below if you want to try making it yourself. The homemade almond milk averaged up to about 72 cents a cup. And it's very hard to determine how much, um, how many calories and fat grams are left in the almonds as you are removing some of the dry meal at the end and that retains some of the nutrients. So I did find an article online that kind of outlined it and I'm going to link that in the description box below but I'll tell you what it said. For one cup of homemade almond milk it's about 55 calories, 5 grams of fat, and about one gram of fiber. Now I wasn't able to find anything about how much protein it had but I'm guessing since Every other almond milk had about one gram of protein. It was probably pretty similar. And um, I did also add a date to that. So I think that would be a little bit more added calories. Um, so that's just an approximation. But um, what I love about the homemade stuff is that I know exactly what's going in it. So I wanna know how these almond milks stack up in terms of taste. So I put all five kinds of almond milk into unmarked cups 
and I used little paper cups because I didn't have six cups that were exactly the same. So I filled them each up and I want to give them a taste and see which one I think tastes the best. So here's cup number one and compared to the other cups, this one is quite um, brown in color and it has a tiny bit of like separation or swirling. So cup number one has almost like a hint of vanilla taste to it. It's pretty thick, it's not sweet at all. It has a bland taste with a hint of vanilla, that's all I can say. Ooh, cup number two is sweeter and um, so creamy, but it, it's very white in color and it has a lot of like swirling through it. Um, but the taste is definitely sweeter than number one and like a little smoother. Number three is quite watery, um, but the taste is good. It has like an almondy kind of taste to it, but it's much thinner than the others. Number four is quite gray-brown as well. Um, the color is very um, opaque and it's really creamy. No sweetness at all. And number five. Number five is really good too. Um, I can see some like swirling in there as well, so I'm wondering if that's like a little bit of separation. So let's figure out which is which. Well, let's, let's decide which one was the best. I liked two and five, I think, were the best in terms of flavor. Um, I thought four was pretty good too, so let's see two. This is homemade with Skin on. That was number two, and homemade with no skin was number five. I think I almost liked it with the skin on better though. Um, let's see what number four was. Number four was Calafia Farms, so this one. And that leaves number one, thick and vanilla y, was silk. And that must mean that the thin, thin almondy one was, was the Pacific Organic. I think definitely in terms of taste, the homemade almond milk is just so good. Um, creamy, tastes like almonds, but is it worth it in terms of time? And what I would say is that it probably is if you're just going to soak your almonds and blend them up and then strain them. It's probably not for me if I'm going to have to peel all of them. That's quite an extra step that I might take if I was making something special, but just as a weekly beverage, I'm not sure. Um, the tough part about making it, besides the time, is that it's only good for three to five days, so you need to make it in smaller batches. And um, in terms of cost, it's not really a huge saving since it's 72 cents a cup and that is with buying the almonds in bulk. Um, something else that is a little bit tough with the homemade is that the, the almonds that I use are non-organic and that's because organic almonds are so expensive that it wouldn't have been similar in price to the other options that I was choosing. But I don't know, it's a toss up. I really like the homemade stuff, um, but I'm just not sure if I would be able to do that um, every week, but maybe I would. Well, that does it for my almond milk comparison. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and like the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.